Split Sides Comedy Club welcomes Frankie Boyle. Hello. Yeah, shut it, pal. You'll leave here with an asshole like a yawning hippo's mouth. I'm quite a grumpy bastard. I drink uh, that electrolyte drink to do the shows. It's good that they finally managed to can anxiety, isn't it? It's good that there's a drink that gives me the resting heart rate of a serial killer ejaculating into a school sock. I don't drink. My best mate gave up the same time as me, and he said it was because he could never imagine anything worse than waking up in the morning with less money than you thought you had and a really sore head. I said, it could be worse. You could wake up with much more money than you thought you had and a really sore arse. When I was at school, I could never work out how to get girls' bras undone. I just couldn't do it. And then eventually I realised that these girls were wearing a different type of bra from my gran. If you don't like that, you're gonna fucking hate this next bit. The oldest woman ever to give birth, gave birth this year, she was 70. Imagine at 70, the baby didn't have to force its way out. It spent the last three months bungee jumping. Every time she went for a shit, it had to brace itself. Imagine what having a baby must have done to the state of a 70-year-old's fanny. Absolutely nothing at all. No, I'm sure it was actually a magical moment. I'd love to have been there when our dust broke. I love old people, I do, but I hate it when they're always boasting about what they did in the war. Come on, Grandad, we're trying to have Christmas dinner here. Nobody gives a fuck how many Jews you killed. I suppose the only thing I don't like about old people is that when you have anal sex with them, there's almost no grit. You'd get more purchase fucking their open grave. I'm trying to think if I've got any cheerful jokes at all. Oh yes, as a man, never get a Brazilian. Because when you get a hard on, you look like a sundial at noon. <laughs> and my favourite time of year, Halloween. Halloween, a wonderful time of year for the agrophobic paedophile. They're being delivered to the door. In little costumes. How many dead hookers can you fit in a garage? Another two if I move my bike. <laughs> See, I think a lot of the stuff with offensiveness in comedy comes from the fact that we're often talking about big stereotypes and generalizations. And they're not always true, are they? So, for example, I've got a friend who does a routine about, oh, don't you hate it when your partner comes to bed and they're cold? They try and get heat off you. And I always think, well, what if you're a necrophiliac? Maybe you love it when they're cold. Oh, that's brilliant, you're freezing. Don't move a fucking muscle. I want it to be realistic. I'm going to open your arse cheeks with a car jack. <laughs> See, political correctness has changed everything, hasn't it? I mean, people forget that even political correctness itself used to be called spastic gay talk. Apparently at Christmas now, we're not supposed to say fairy lights anymore, because it might be homophobic. Apparently now we've got to call them poof lanterns. Hey, it's been a pleasure. Stay black. Now, they're both riding together. <laughs>